So one of the problems I have with uh, making videos is that I never have any time anymore. Uh, school kind of sucks the life out of me, so I'm always busy doing shit. But it's summer now, so I decided I'm going to try and make more videos. And uh, I decided one of the first ones I'm going to do is something really stupid. So I like to take care of my skin, as evident by all this uh, junk right here. And I feel like I'm not the only guy that was interested in like facial skincare. So I'm just going to share with people what I do. I find it, it's pretty simple. And I think a lot of other guys would find it pretty simple too. It's not too difficult. It's just kind of a like, it's kind of an order. And I'll show you what that order is right now. Let's start off with the uh, first thing. So this is a facial cleanser. You start off, let me start off with the order. You start off with a cleanser, then you go to a scrub, then a toner, then a serum, then a moisturizer. And you would think like these four things right here, right? It would be enough, but no, you need to finish it off. None of this actually moisturizes your skin. This is the shit that actually does it. But let's talk about each individual thing and like what they do, their importance to this entire like process, so to speak. So the cleanser is pretty self-explanatory. All it does is it cleans your face. It takes away a lot of the dirt that's on your face from the day or from like the oils that accumulate on your skin overnight. You use this every time you wash your face. It's the first thing you start off with. Then you move on to the scrub. And with the scrub, the difference between a scrub and a cleanser is that the scrub is a little bit more grittier. And what that does is that it opens up your pores so you can get the dirt that's stuck really in there to come out a little bit easier. Uh, I, I haven't really looked up why you'd want to use the scrub before you use the cleanser. I know some people that only use a scrub and that's it. They don't even use a cleanser. But for me, I think if you take away the excessive amounts of oils that are on your face first before you do the scrub... The scrub works a lot better. It does its job a lot easier. So once you do this, you know, your face, it's pretty nice. Your skin looks really good, but there's a couple other things we need to do. And this is where we move on to this. This is a toner. A toner from what I got online is meant to balance the pH levels of your skin. So tap water is typically very basic. It's got minerals in it that are not very acidic compared to the oils on your face. The oils on your face are a little bit more acidic than neutral water. So what a toner does is it helps to bring your oil levels back to that level because they tend to go out of whack after you wash it. That's what a toner is for. I've also found that using a toner, your skin actually becomes a little bit nicer too, like a little bit more soft, uh, a little bit more soft, a little bit more subtle. Suffle? Suffle. That's the word I'm looking for. So, cleanser, scrub, toner. What next? This serum. This is uh, this is something that I'm still just a little bit skeptical about. Uh, from what I gathered, right, you can use a serum or an oil, and I think after using this, I'm gonna switch to an oil. I think that'd be a little bit better for me. So the, the gist of it basically is that you put it on after you put on the toner and what it does is that it kind of coats your face with like a protective layer so that when you're walking throughout the day, nothing else gets into your skin. It's starting to get out of focus a little bit. Hold up a sec. That's better. Also, my hands are a little bit shaky right now. Uh, from what from what else I've gathered about is it, meant to give your skin like a boost of nutrients so it kind of glows. Uh, all that says to me, because whenever I put this on, I look in the mirror and your face does have like the glow. Whenever girls talk about glowing up, this is the type of thing that does it. It, it kind of just makes it like shiny almost, it makes it look a little bit more fresh. Uh, I don't know how useful that is, but it does make your skin look nice at least without really doing much i don't know it's it's kind of weird this is like the weird part of it honestly you can probably stick with this 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 and this and you'll be good but i like to go the extra mile sometimes just because i have money to spend on like useless junk but let's get on to the actual good thing moisturizer goddamn our moisturizer is amazing i have really dry skin if you ever see me like right now, I haven't I haven't actually washed my face yet. I took a shower, but I'm not completely clean. I need to 
I need to moisturize real bad. My skin gets really dry and really flaky. And if all else fails, you could probably just get away with skipping like all of this and going straight to this if your skin's really, really dry. But I'd still recommend doing this process here. Starting here, going across, and up here. So the moisturizer is the last thing you do. It kind of seals in everything. It makes your skin nice and like soft and makes it nice and moist. I like that word moist. You can hear it. It's just kind of a weird word. It does the last thing. It does the job that you want it to do. There's different moisturizers for different people. I like to go with uh, the sensitive skin kind. You'll notice that I use a lot of Burt's Bees too, right? Like this is Burt's Bees, and 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 we'll talk about this. But I, I like this uh, product by this company because I, it tends to work pretty well for me. The thing with skincare is that you got to experiment with different types of shit just because different things work well for different people while other things don't work well. There was this facial scrub. It was like um, it was like sugar and honey. I don't know how to describe it, but I used that for a little bit and that caused me to break out. And that's when I realized that anything with sugar in it is not, not for me. That's what I realized on this uh, kind of little learning lesson and trying to take care of my skin. This, for example, uses fruit. Anything sweet. I try not to use anything sweet. This isn't too bad though, but I'm gonna switch it out for something different. This uses flour. This is flour based. This is flour based. This is uh, fruit based, which is why I'm gonna switch it out. But you gotta experiment with different things to figure out what's the best for you. So what's up with this stuff? What is this? So you have a different routine for the daytime and the nighttime. For the stuff that's related to the nighttime, I'm going to take all the stuff related to the daytime and then show you what's related to the nighttime. So we don't necessarily need a scrub or a toner at night. Instead, we just need this stuff here. So let's talk about it. You already know what the cleanser does. You just put it on your face. You wash your face. You get all the dirt and the grime off your face. It, it does its job. Its name is self-explanatory. The cleanser. It cleanses your skin. What do you do after that? Afterwards, you use this, which is more of a deep cleaning type of cleanser. So typically you're supposed to use like a zip cream or like an acne thing. This thing is, you can see a charcoal acne clearing cleanser. It's also a cleanser, but I use it as my acne thing because I'm not paying the extra money to get something specifically for that. Honestly, I usually just skip this and go straight to the scrub, but this works pretty well as well. Uh, the problem that I have with this is that it dries on my skin too bad, so I don't usually use it as often. But the typical order is you use a cleanser and a zip cream. After that, they, I, from what I've gathered, you can skip the serum, or sorry, not the serum, the toner, and just go straight to a serum. And then you finish it off with a night cream. Now, what's the difference between a night cream and a day cream? So a night cream is a really thick, heavy cream that you put on your face at night. And the reason why you would use this over this is that this gives you a really, really nice, soft texture in the morning. When you wake up after putting night cream on, after you do all this and you put a night cream on and you wake up the next day, your skin feels amazing. It is one of the most incredible feelings ever. Like you, you look at your face and it's like, damn, I never thought I could look that good. You feel me? So a day cream is a lot lighter. Whenever you're walking throughout the day and you have like this really thick cream, like sunscreen on your face, it's uncomfortable. You feel like, ugh, there's like something on me right now. It's just not comfortable. A night cream is kind of the same feeling, but because you're not moving around outside, you don't really feel as much. You're going to be asleep. So you're just kind of absorbing all that stuff. For a day cream, you want something light. So you don't really feel it as much while a night cream you want something heavy to do the really really deep moisturization and that's it that's it that's that's really all it is to it cleanser scrub toner serum moisturizer if you can follow that order you can even skip all this like night stuff here right you can just do the same stuff you do for the day at night and you'd be good and you'll notice how nice your skin will look at the end of all that. With that said, 
the key thing to having nice skin is eating well. So if you're not eating well, it's not going to work out at all. So you got to change your diet first before you change, I don't know, how you wash your face, I guess. But that's it. That's all I got to say. This, this is a quick video. I still have the other video that um, I have in the works. See, I made this script for a series of history-related videos that I plan on uploading to this channel. And I, I haven't gotten around to doing it because of the aforementioned school thing. But that should be coming out eventually. Anyway, that's, uh, that's all I have for this video. Um, look forward to seeing what you have to say. Stick around for the next video. I don't know. Whenever it comes out.